Hello everybody, it's me again, Toa Nyrax, back with a, another Bionicle mock review. This one is called Makuta Crackix. Now this one is another very edgy mock I've made, because everyone loves edgelords. So, we shall start from the bottom. Here I used a different kind of foot design. I stacked two types of Anika feet on top of each other. I know I'm not the first to do this. I've seen Wombat Combat do it before. And he, he uses a more simple leg design. Because I was starting to run low on pieces. Same on the other side here. He used to have a lot more black on him. He used to have a black chest and these Hero Factory armor pieces in black. But he looked like one of Wombat Combat's mocks. So I changed it out for more dark red. Thought that would look a lot better. Though. Better. He does use the Kanohi Kakan because he is a Makuta. As you can see here. If you're wondering why he has a Krakan, it's because in my story, the Krakan is kind of like the stone masks from Jojo, if you've seen that, which you all should have. <laughs> Sorry, laughing to myself there. If you basically put this mask on, it basically turns you into a Makuta. So yeah, but pretty much like the stone mask from Jojo, except it doesn't turn you into a vampire, it just turns you into a Makuta. He has a really cool scythe. I really like how that turned out. It's very simple, but yet very effective. And he, I use this different cape. I use the um, Captain Phasma cape from the uh, Star Wars buildable figure sets. And I like how it looks on this. I think it just, just adds a nice look to it. So that's going to do it for today. I hope you all enjoyed this mock review. This is Toa Nyrax signing out.